great. I've got a question. <laughs> is Christian baptism the result of an acknowledgement of one's own sinfulness, or is it a symbol of a completely new direction in life? Okay, good question. What is Christian baptism? Is it about your sinfulness, or is it about something beyond your sinfulness? Well, because John's baptism was only about repentance, only about the acknowledgement of our own sinfulness, we know that the baptism to Christ is much, much more. This is explained when the Apostle Paul came to Ephesus, and he came upon a certain group of believers who were in a certain circumstance that was a little bit off, we'll say. Acts chapter 19, verses 2 to 5. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said to him, Oh, we have not ever heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then are you baptized? And they said, Into John's baptism. I'll stop here. Even though John's kind of baptism became irrelevant once the Messiah arrived, it carried on for a while anyway. Again, its purpose was for the national preparation of Israel at that specific time. Continuing in verse 4, Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in him who was coming after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus. So we just ended the previous uh, segment saying baptism of the Holy Spirit is not the actual baptism into Christ. So we've got baptism into the Holy Spirit, baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism into Christ, and now we've got baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus. No wonder I'm confused. Do these all mean the same thing? What do they have to do with being immersed in water? All right. So so these are all parts of the same thing. Let's take the last two that you mentioned, baptism into Christ, okay. baptism into the name of the Lord Jesus. Those are exactly the same thing. Okay. And we're going to go through that symbol. And, you know, baptism is a symbol, but it shows a condition of heart and a decision. Baptism into the Holy Spirit is a result of that decision. Again, when we think baptism, folks, we have to think symbolic because it's showing us a bigger picture. The baptism of the Holy Spirit, that was a little bit different because you saw that at Pentecost specifically. That's where the Holy Spirit was born within Christianity. So you've got these different parts, these different moving parts, but it all leads us to the true baptism of Christ. And, you know, we started with that very first scripture that talked about that true baptism of Christ. So let, let's, let's move through on this, okay? Uh, the receiving of the Holy Spirit is a major indication of a life offered and accepted by God. The life has to be offered by the human being, the individual, but it has to be accepted by God for the Holy Spirit to be given. So every baptism doesn't have the Holy Spirit necessarily attached. That's a subject for a different podcast. So let's...